been a lot of discussion of, of model companies in this in this SaaS world. Uh, Salesforce is the obvious example, and they've done an amazing job, not just of pioneering this model and helping the whole industry uh, be able to better articulate the benefits of SaaS and what customers care about, but also in staying relevant and expanding their business through acquisitions and, and moving into new markets. An area, though, that I think is really compelling that a lot of companies need to, to look at is not just what's going on in the SaaS business, but in other as-a-service markets like platform as a service and infrastructure as a service. So a good example, I think, is Amazon. Um, actually, I, I worked at Amazon a long time ago um, just when they were selling books and music. And so this whole world of selling IT infrastructure is, is very new. But they've done an amazing job, and, and they will talk very often about taking a customer-centric approach and looking at, you know, we're not, they're not going to sell to customers in the traditional enterprise manner. They're looking at how do customers want to buy. And so being able to have customers do metered usage and a la carte billing and, and piecing together the different services that they sell enables the customers to be very innovative in, in what they're using Amazon services in order to build um, and has made Amazon, uh, frankly, one of the, the largest players in a, in a market that no one would have expected them in.